Alright, hello and welcome back to what might be the very last episode of Professor Layton and Diabolical Box. Uh, last time we did another one of the bonus challenges, challenge rooms. We got the second last one, I think, yeah. We're just left with the Puzzle Doctor's house. 151, Colin score. Why don't you give this one a go? They gave Schrader an icon there on the left, you can see. It's kind of disturbing. It looks like a Muppet. Okay, they're all 100 pick rats, or 99, that's pretty good. Four students took a test for every question of two possible answers, A or B. Each question was worth 10 points for a total of 100 points. The student's test results were posted to the student below, but the teacher forgot to tally Colin's score. Colin was heading to the teacher's office when Mary called him back, saying they could figure out his score from using the results from the other tests. Can you figure out Colin's score? Oh. My uh, drawing tablet is disconnecting and reconnecting, but let's get into this here. So, I guess the first thing to do is like look at where the differences between the two are, and is my drawing tablet straight up not going to work here? There we go. So, Mary and Dan are part in number two. I'll just write the numbers because I'm not going to be able to draw that precise. Four, five, six, nine, and ten. And so they're different in two of those, right? So, like... And there's, that's four of the ten, there's that's six of the ten questions, so of the four, um, I don't know, let's, let's compare Dan and Lisa first. So Dan and Lisa, oh, we have six and nine being the only two differences, right? B, triple A, B, then six is different, B, A, then uh, 9 is different, and then 10. So from this, we know that Dan got 6 and 9 right. So Dan got 6 right and 9 right. So, um... That means... Of the, like, I need more room to write is the problem. I'm just gonna, like, write on a notepad here, and I'm just gonna narrate my thoughts. So, where do Mary and Dan differ? Mary and Dan differ on two, four, five, six, nine, and ten. Dan and Lisa differ on six and nine. Dan has two higher than Lisa. So, uh, I'll actually keep track of the answers too. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna record the notepad just to make things easy. So this means that six and nine both have to be A. So there's only one more, um, since Mary got six and nine wrong, there's only one more that she can get wrong. So we can get different at two, four, nine, and ten. I mean two, four, five, and ten. So we can think of um, ignoring the, deleting those two, Mary now has 7 out of 8 right, and Dan, this is without six question 6, ignoring question 6 and 9, Mary has 7 out of 8 right, and Dan has 3 out of 8. Well, this means 
Because what four are they the same on? They're the same on one, three. Oh, I can tell from my list. One, three, seven, and eight. So um, the idea is that they're different apart by Mary and Dan. Now ignoring those two are different by four. And Mary is higher than Dan by four. So Mary has to have the right answer and Dan has to have the wrong answer on two, four, five, and 10, being the other ones they differ on. So two is B, four is B, five is A, and 10 is B. So now of what we're left to determine one, three, seven, and eight. So right now of the four we have, uh, Mary has a four, right? Because we have six of them determined, yeah. Mary has four, right? The four that she differed with Dan. Dan has two, right? The two that he differed with Lisa. And Lisa currently has zero. So the question now is they all need three, right? So they all share the answers to one, three, seven, and eight. We, I think here's the trick. We, we don't actually get any info on one, three, seven, and eight. But the thing is all four of them answered one for B, I mean B for one, a for three, B for seven, and A for eight. So for Colin, one, three, seven, eight, he's going to have three out of four because um, that's what everyone else has to get for everything to add up. From there, uh, B is two, that is right. Four is A, so four is B, so we got that one wrong. Five is A, so we got that one right. Six is A, so we got that one wrong. We don't have seven and eight. Then nine is A, so we got that one right. And then 10 is B, so we got that one wrong. So he got three of those six right, and plus the three from the four. It means I do believe he got six right, so 60. Gotta make sure I know how they want me to input the answer, not 64. I guarantee he did not get 64. Just to double check, cause I'm kind of paranoid. Yes, 60. Let's lock it in. Let's hope for the best. Let's see if this works. Yeah, yeah that wasn't too bad. Um, I had to use external notes, but uh, once you have that done, once I resigned myself to that, it wasn't too much work. A plus, an A plus here that is. Unfortunately for Colin, his score is 60 points. Based on the test, based on the results from the three scored test, you can come up with four possible answer keys labeled here as A through D. No matter which one you use, Colin's score is 60. Great. That's the way, Luke, good job. 152, the card tournament. Luke, have a look at this puzzle. All right, 80 pick rats. It's supposed to be easier, apparently. Some people meet for a round robin card tournament where every person plays every other person once. Wallace has to leave after only a few hands, sitting out the remainder of the tournament. A total of 59 hands are played at the tournament. How many, card, how many hands did Wallace play before leaving? The card game in question is a two-player game when no person played with the same opponent more than once. No one set up any hands beside Wallace. So, um, let's say there's P people other than Wallace. They're gonna play P, P minus one, times P minus one over two hands. And then Wallace plays W hands. And the restriction here is that W has to be less than or equal to P. So, 
Uh, let's go through. I'm going to write this out. We have um, P and their P. We have a number of other people there. Um, hands being the number of hands they play among themselves, and W the number of hands whilst we need to play with them. There's two people. There's only uh, one hand. So you have to play 58. 58 is greater than 2. 3 gives us 3, gives us 56. 4 gives us 10, gives us 49. 5 gives us 15. No, 4 gives us 6. And that gives us uh, 53. 5 gives us 10. 6 gives us 15. Which gives us uh, 44. 7 gives us 21. Which gives us 38. 8 gives us uh, 28. Which gives us 31. 9 gives us uh, 36. Gives us 33. 10 gives us 45. Which gives us 44. No, that can't be right. I did some 36 would be 23. 45 would be 14. 11 would be 55, so we had to play four hands. Because after 11, yeah, so P equals 11, then we get this is going to be 11 times 5, which is 55, plus 4 hands equals 59. This is a nice puzzle, actually. Well, I, I should, I guess, reserve saying that until I know that I get it right. He had to play 4 hands. Just leave it to me. All right, good. Yeah, this is a very well-composed okay. puzzle. Unfortunately, the mathier ones are easier for me to decompose, but still. Oh, and look, they give the exact formula I gave. Good job, Wallace played four hands. First, you need to find the total number of hands of everyone's state. You can find it with an equation like the one here. If there were 11 people, there would have been 55 matches, and if there were 12 people, there would have been 66. Since we know 59 hands were played, there must have been 12 people at the start. When we subtract 59 hands, but even 66 ideal, we learn that Wallace missed 7 hands. Since 7 would have played 7 hands ideally, that means Wallace only played 4 hands. Yeah, the way the 1 half n n minus 1 formula works, I mean, looking at every possible combo between two people, picking a person, you have n choices, and then picking a second, you have n choices again, so that's n squared. Then you subtract off n, because that's people playing against themselves, which doesn't make any sense. Then you divide by 2, because you would be double counting, like, if you have person A on the left and person B on the right versus B on the left and A on the right, those are treated as different combinations. So, the formula is just a factorization of that identity. Very nice, Luke. I know you could do it. And we're luck, it's one, five, three, the diabolical box. I don't know why I said the numbers out like that, but here, try this one, Luke. What do we got? 99 pick rats? I'm guessing, I'm hoping. Yes, indeed. Oh, what a nice tone to end things off. The last puzzle in the escape game where you need to move the pink gem to the circle outline at the bottom. Beware though, because this diabolical box won't let you escape so easy. Alright, well, nice to end things off in a note where I have, like, no potential for commentary. I can already feel my brain, like, congealing.
There we go. I definitely didn't just look up a guy because I knew that would be hell. That was almost too easy. You get to hear my drawing tablet phasing and out of existence again. Wonderful. One well-known solution to this puzzle uses 78 moves. How many did it take you? What do you mean well-known? How's it going to be well-known? <laughs> Is this like a famous sliding block puzzle or something? Commendable job, Luke. That was some sharp thinking. There we go. Com complete. Congratulations. You've successfully solved every puzzle available in Professor Lake in the Diabolical Box. New puzzles will become available through Nintendo Wi-Fi connection, so if you haven't checked them out yet, make sure you do. And with that, it seems you've completed every puzzle in the game. Congratulations! It's clear that you possess an aptitude and passion for puzzle solving that is equal to my own. Look, Professor, a new page of characters has been unlocked in the profile section. Indeed it has, Luke. That's a gift from us to our friend, the player. I don't really like the fourth wall breaking, but we'll go with it. You heard the Professor. Have fun with those. Alright. So, as promised, let's check out the bonuses as a way to end things off. Weekly puzzle. I don't have the Wi-Fi thing set up, and we didn't do it last time, so we won't worry about that. And puzzle index is just seeing what puzzles we have, so we won't worry about that. So we got profiles. Oh, you can just like read about them over there. I, we won't go through all this, I won't read all this out loud, but I'll do this in case anyone's... I don't know, in case you're learning about this game for the first time somehow through my own videos, you'll be able to, like, you can just feel free to pause the video at any time and read about the, um... Your various characters. Uh, they have one for everyone. That's kind of surprised. Kind of surprising. Otherwise, this is just going to be like a thing. Oh, I see. Who is Capone? I still don't even remember. Oh, they're the old couple there. Okay. Did we ever meet Marjorie or Conrad? I don't remember those people at all. You need to just get this and just pure silence. I guess I don't want you to disrupt reading, but I mean... On the DS, you'd be able to turn down the volume, right? Yeah, we, we haven't even gotten to um, really the full sense characters yet, have we? I mean... I guess we had a what's her name? The cabaret lady way back earlier. I don't know what order they're in. I guess maybe this is like the order they expected to meet characters in the camp because Derby's right at the entrance. I don't know. I'm trying to keep talking to have like this not just be an empty void of with like a occasional bings, but I really don't know what to say here. I'm sure this will up my watch time a huge amount, as everyone definitely pauses to read all these and aren't just like waiting for me to be done with this. Oh, Puzzle Guy 1. Oh, it's the puzzle people. I guess I should have maybe go through these a little slower. What? Puzzle Gals? I didn't know these were actual people. I mean, they're kind of not, given that they, um, don't have names. Okay, I don't think either of those are really characters, but we'll go with it. Who is Winston? We've, I've never seen Winston before in my life, I swear. Alright, well, that's uh, the character portraits. Pretty cool. Profiles, I mean. Art. This is, once again, pretty cool. Oh, this is, these are just like from the cutscenes, right? Like, you see all these in-game. Like, is there... I mean, I guess there's commentary on them on, on the edge. So it's worth kind of going through them for that purpose, but... Oh, there you go. That's, uh, that's all the art in the game. 
music. This is the best song in the game. Does this carry over when you go back? It does not. Okay. We got voice clips. This should do the trick. Pretty cool. A true gentleman leaves. But you and I are. I've been so wrong. I've been so <laughs> wrong. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna play all those, but clearly a lot, a lot of fun to be had there. What do I do with all my pick rats? Also, the hidden door. That was a thing. Um, what was the code here? Oh, okay, so how the codes work is that they're like hard-coded into like the game based on the DS you're using. So we won't actually be able to do those in this um, playthrough. I mean, I could dig up the emulator and try to get it working that way. I don't know if that'll even work though. People were kind of hinting that it won't. In any case, I'm sure someone out there has just cracked it, so you can go watch it through that way. Kind of a shame that we won't get to see it, but, um, this was Professor Land Diabolical Box. Very good game, wonderful. Uh, maybe the best in the series? We'll find that out as we keep going forward. Um, probably in terms of plot, at least, the best. Well, I don't know, it, it's a good game. That's all I can say. Very good game. I kind of gave my um, main thoughts on it when we beat the plot for the first time a while ago. So yeah, up next we're going to, we're still going through that cycle. We're gonna play Silent Hill 2, and we're done. And we're done with that. Back to Pathologic because that's the life I've I've um, prescribed myself. I mean, I am generally looking forward to playing Pathologic again, but. Sound Hell 2 first. I know there's like a remake that just came out. It's kind of funny timing on that end, but we won't worry about that. And as always, thank you for watching.